Hello everyone, Unknown Reefer here, bringing you growth log number two. Had intended these to be monthly, but I just didn't get round to making one last month. So this is two months on from the last video. The growth log in my tank under two Max Bet Jump 165 LEDs. Um, for anybody who hasn't seen my first video, it's on my channel. It gives you a sort of baseline of where we're going from. Um, I think since that first log, I'd have to check back through, I have actually added a filter roller now. Um, and my refugiums in this chamber, not in that one, so it's a bit smaller. Um, so I don't know whether that's going to affect my nutrients at all. Um, I have had a case where I introduced fish. Stupidly, I put a powder brown in. I knew the risk of ick with it, because uh, I run ick management rather than large amounts of quarantine. Um, it was alright for about a month, but once I introduced a new wave maker and was faffing with the tank for the filter roller, um, it stressed it out and it came out in white spot. In trying to feed the tank up to clear the white spot out, I increased my nutrients a bit, so I did have a bit of acro up here, which I lost. Um, and some of the other corals suffered a bit, but I'm now back on track. I've now got everything keyed in. Um, I must have not tested my nutrients recently, I need to do that. Um, but I'm suspecting that with the filter roller rather than filter socks, I change every few days, my nutrients should be quite low. My nitrates tend to sit at around 10 to 20 anyway. And my phosphate on the cheap kits is virtually undetectable because of the uh, now moved turn my light on. Um, phosphate reactor. That I run there. So let's go and have a look at the growth. Um, I've added a few new bits of coral. I found a local seller um, that for £20 plus postage was doing, I think it was six bits of SPS. Um, because he was local, I drove up to him and got an extra bit as well. So I have added some extra bits of coral in here. Um, fox face showing off in the middle there. Um, yeah, I've added them in. That did drop my alkalinity from 9.2 down to 8.8. Um, I caught that drop though. So I then upped my dosing a little bit of my salivate all in one by, I think, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a mil. And it's now stable at 8.8. .8, uh, consistently for a couple of weeks. So I've just got to um, slowly add some more of that in and do a few more water changes just to bring that level back up to about 9 as everything seemed happy on that. Um, some of the corals will look a little bit different because of the different flow, because of that max bet jump. Uh, for example, this elegance, in the previous video the flow was low around it, so it was probably looking bigger than this. Um, but it is getting more flow now, so it's still opening out nicely, it's just not opening out quite as much. But you probably don't see it because it's under the white lights at the minute. Um, when they're a little bit smaller in on themselves, they do shine brighter under the blues. Um, so that's not too bad. I'm still having issues with the soft coral. My brother's got a tank that's a lot dirtier, so he will be getting these bits of coral. Because they just, with the nutrients and the light levels and the flow in my tank, they're just not doing well. A little bit of diet on there, but that will go away at some point. Um, and see the mushrooms are... Quite happily going there. They're not growing and taking over the rock. This red one is split from one to I think there's four there now. Um, and this big green one, actually, saying that I've not noticed before because I don't see the tank a lot in the middle of the day. Um, I think that big green one must have sprouted off and grown out from these because the this is the little rock that I glued on with those on, and that other big green one has appeared. Um, I'd have to check back in the video to be honest, but yeah, they're, they're growing right. These ones down the bottom aren't doing a huge amount. I could put them on another rock, but they, they give quite a nice look there. Um, that rock at the back, I've still not got anything on. I might find some cheap GSP or just some more mushrooms to be honest. They like a bit of low light, they're growing up well. Um, Blasto, still doing what it does. This chalice is growing. It, this little sort of lip here purely seems to be where the flow hits it. Um, the edge of it comes back a bit. Um, I was worried about it, but it's been like that for probably three weeks now. Doesn't seem to do any harm. 
as you can see, if you look at the other video, this it was just growing onto this sort of rock behind it. It's now really growing up over it quite nicely, so I'm pleased with that. I think the best growth I've been getting is from my acans, um, to the point they were all on this rock over here. And I actually had to move one out to give it room because um, I bought this as three heads and it's now, oh, I don't know how many heads it is. Um, and the rest of them are starting to grow new heads as well. This top purpley one up here was actually not looking too happy when it first went in. But that's growing. That's got another head on it and it's got I think, a couple of little ones around the back. Um, this possibly my favourite one, this orange one, um, has a new head round that side, and I think I did see when it closed up, there was one starting to push through from the bottom as well. Um, as you can see, that bit of candy cane I bought, I had it in the middle of the tank, and it was too much light, and it's just bleached out. I don't think it's actually dead because it's not gone back to pure skeleton; it has just bleached out. So. There is a little bit of colour on that. You probably can just see it on the video. So I'm leaving that there for a little bit longer just to see if any colour comes back. Um, but it doesn't do any harm being down there anyway. Uh, Duncan's there. Got some new heads around the back. My Duncan's got upset the other day for some unknown reason. Something must have crawled across them or something. So they'd sulked for a couple of days. Um, they're just coming back from it now. But they seem to be doing well. Um, my hammers and frog spawn over there doing okay. This zoa next to it's growing quite nicely. Um, same as these zoas on the rock, they're now spreading out. This tracky is probably that's about as big as it gets, to be honest. Um, haven't really seen much new growth from that, but it's fluffy and happy during the day. Um, this is one of my new bits of SPS. Not quite sure what it is, to be honest. I just bought a a bundle of SPS, not sure what was in there. Um, as you can see, this Monty started to encrust over this rock. Um, that lost a little bit of colour under blues with my nutrients going up, but it is getting that back now. Um, I've built this new archway to put some more SPS on, and as you can see, I've got a few bits from that pack at the back there going on, and that little bit I had anyway. Um, this Pustlepora, I think it is. I don't know how you say it. Seems to have got a little bit of growth out of it. Um, it seems reasonably happy, but I don't know if you can see it very clearly in the video. That's kind of an in-between the lights area of the tank, so it doesn't get hammered with light. Um, but it seems fluffy and healthy. I don't know if you can actually see like, the outside of it. So it seems happy enough, but I'm just not seeing a lot of growth from it yet. But as I say... That could be because I overfed the tank a bit to try and sort of counter the ick. Um, this forest fire is consistently growing really well. Seems nice and happy. It's getting quite a lot of light there. Seems to want to branch over to the right for some reason, which is a bit strange because it's dead centre under the light, but it, I suspect it might be growing towards the actual where the LEDs are <clears throat> for the strongest parts of the light. Um, up here, this unnamed coral that I don't know what it was that was dying again, consistently growing out nicely. And same with this green slimer, which is probably best seen from this side, I'd say. That's growing out quite nicely. That white coral to the side was kind of like an extra little bit that the bloke gave me in this bunch of corals. Now, it has bleached out up there, but it's got its polyps out and it seems happy enough. Apart from it's bleached out a little bit, but it was quite bleached when I got it. So, as it was like a couple of quid extra, well, it was chucked in, probably a couple of quid anyway to get. Um, I'm kind of just leaving it there and seeing what happens with it, to be honest. Um, and then there's this one down here as well. Might be showing a little bit of signs of bleaching, but I think that's more under the whites. It seems alright under the blues. Again, it didn't cost me millions of pounds. Its polyps are out, so it seems happy enough so I'm going to leave it under there it the slight bleaching might even be because my nutrients were a little bit high but I am slowly bringing them down um, so yeah all in all it's going well still very pleased with the max bet jump lights um, and the DD reef pro thanks for watching